Hey, how's it going everybody? <clears throat> I'm here today and I wanted to show you um, the new system for my two strokes that I worked out. I've been doing some research on gasoline vaporization systems for combustion engines. And uh, this is what I've come up with. <clears throat> Let's start it real quick here and I'll show you and then I'll talk about it for a sec here. As you can see, she chugs away quite nicely. <clears throat> the two lines right there, where our fuel lines, they've both been capped off with, uh, with the nails and electric tape just to keep them sealed. You'll see a lot of people that have these systems and they have it set up with, so that the air mixture is mixed in the jug. But that can create some problems because that puts the, the air in that jug at the perfect perfect saturation for um, for combustion so you could result in a potential uh, explosion of your jar if you got like a backfire or anything like that by mixing the air here and here at the actual tubes we keep the the air mixture as a solid fuel fuel um, supply coming out of that jug that way there's no possibility of any kind of detonation <coughs> these things I just picked them up for a buck at a dollar store. And then the rest of this is put together with PVC pipe and uh, clear poly tubing. The uh, PVC pipe, you might think, well, it's plastic. It's going to melt in the gasoline. But uh, it actually does not affect the PVC at all. It's not like a solvent where it, where it eats it. So um, it works just fine. I also like it because I can make my own custom fittings. And, uh, save a little cash as far as having to go out and buy everything now people will argue that by doing this oh well what happens when you rev up the engine you know you're gonna you're gonna have to increase your air well by mixing it like this it automatically increases whatever it needs to to run at high rpms and all it does is just increase the amount of air fuel mixture that it's sucking through the jar and uh and through the filter there and giving the engine what it needs so let's rev her up a little bit here for you guys have to bring it back down to a low rev slowly, otherwise it kills the engine. But once you got it back down there, it continues very nicely all by itself. Um, that's about it, guys. Um, pardon me, the, the shot's going to get a little unsteady here. I'm going to show you actually some of what we're looking at on this guy. So we just have uh, two hose splits, and they have the adjustable volume control on them. Um, like I said, poly tubing, poly tubing, poly tubing. This right here is where our actual, uh, I guess you'd call it a fill port. Hold on one second here. I hate doing this without my bipod, tripod. But that just pops out like that. It gives you access to whatever you might need there. I just bent this with my heat gun makes a nice nice um, good solid seal these lids can be kind of a pain as far as getting stuff to adhere properly with them so I used a three-quarter inch piece of PVC got a, a nice solid fit and then <coughs> I used one that had an expansion on the top part so you can slide another piece in there and that keeps it where it needs to be and then I slid another ring of one inch PVC up and then glued that so that we're not having any problems and that's about it guys um the ideal fuel air ratio should be right right about 71 percent so once you figure that out she should run just fine no matter how high an rpm uh, you are running her <coughs> thank you guys for hanging out um give this a try this what this is is you know this is 
this will reduce your dependency on fuels and the oil companies. We're using way too much gasoline in our cars with our typical fuel injection systems. There's no reason we shouldn't be cruising off just vapors. The gasoline will go a lot further that way. Oh, another point of the uh, the kill switches on the hose, the hose uh, splits as well, is that um, your gas will continue to vape out super fast. So you can actually kind of control how much of a vent it has on there when you're not using the system. The other thing that this does is by keeping my fuel level, um, you know, with the people that mix the fuel levels in the actual the jar there, as their fuel level changes, their air fuel mixture ratio changes as well. By mixing the air with the fuel right before we pump it into the carburetor, um, the level of our fuel in that jar won't affect how the system actually runs. All right, thank you guys for sticking with me here. Always a pleasure to have you. Um, please check me out on Patreon. Um, kind of dropping all my advertising here. I still have a few videos that I haven't been able to get around to pulling it all off of yet, but uh, kind of done with YouTube advertising and uh, going for some viewer support here. If you guys want to be a part of that, check me out. Patreon.com backslash, I'm sorry, forward slash Guyver's Lab with no space. Thanks everybody. Have a good one.